Good morning. Onward we go towards Holy Week and Easter. So I told the contemporary story of the prodigal son yesterday. It obviously touched a deep emotional place for a lot of us. I had a bit of a hard time reading it myself uh, when I first stumbled on that again after having not heard it for literally 45 years. It's like, oh wow, uh, it touched me then and it touched me deeply again um, as I was reading it, preparing the last several weeks and then as I proclaimed it this weekend. And I think it touches a deep chord within us because we all have to struggle with this. You've heard me say it before, but a, a dynamic tension, a dynamic struggle um, with our own unworthiness and our own brokenness and God's absolute unconditional love for each one of us. Um, we know that we're not perfect. God knows that we're not perfect. And in his graciousness, in his amazing grace, as we sang at the end of the weekend masses, he touches us. He comes to us. He embraces us. He heals us. He accepts us in a way that no one else can accept us as deeply as he does. And somehow that's exactly and precisely what enables us to go out and to be more merciful, more understanding of other people's brokenness, more patient with ourselves, it has to start here, um, but also with our loved ones, uh, with people that we find challenging or difficult, that God is involved in all of this. And even as we deal in times when um, we struggle in, in a world, in a culture that wants absolute clarity on things that are just too complicated right now. We don't have that kind of clarity um, in my own faith, which as you know, I take very seriously and I would say my faith is strong. I have moments where things seem to just kind of fall in place and I, I think like I'm, I actually understand it right now. For instance, God's plan or um, the mystery of human life. And then it kind of turns back into fog, you know, and it gets all fuzzy again. And I think that's human experience, this side of the kingdom of God. And I think sometimes we have, I carry un, unreasonable expectations about clarity, about even the way that God chooses to interact with his people. Folks, we're dealing with ultimate mystery here. And at some point we just have to accept that. And we have to sit back and say, Lord, I don't understand fully. I probably never will understand fully this side of the kingdom. And I believe, and I give myself to you. And I ask that you help me to trust even more deeply in you. And in that amazing welcome that you give to us in the midst of our weaknesses, in the midst of our woundedness, in the midst of helping us grow towards a more full, a more complete human life focused on you. So folks, God bless each of you. Uh, may he continue to inspire you, protect you, lead you into a deeper and deeper faith 